Hello, angry Albertans. Just took a quick trip out to Grace Life Church just to see what's going on out here. We got a few people out protesting. We got some of the church members. They uh, not only have they fenced off the uh, the church itself. Hello, hello. They've now fenced off the entire church property. How's it going? So last time I was here, it was just the church building in the parking lot that had been fenced. Now the entire church property has been fenced in and barricaded. Up here is Highway 627. This is the highway that runs in front of the church and the RCMP have put up billboards essentially saying that there is no stopping or parking on the highway. And the rumor that we're hearing is, is that this road as of tomorrow will be closed. This road will be local traffic only. So, yeah. <laughs> no one's coming or going out of here unless they basically park a mile away. So if you're willing to park a mile away, um, you know, maybe you can protest here. So this is the highway out in front of the church. Um, there's no parking, no stopping there. Probably gonna get ticketed or towed. If you come on this road here, I hear the rumor is tomorrow it's going to be closed. And if you do come out here at all, be prepared for a heavy police presence. I mean, it only makes sense, but on every corner of the country block out here, you're going to find RCMP vehicles marked and unmarked. And they're gathering the license plates and information of anybody who comes in or out of this area. So this is your new communist Canada. This is your new normal. This is what Justin Trudeau was telling you about. So yeah, that uh, now we have fencing all around the Grace Life Church property. So, and uh, not quite as heavy a police presence out here as there was the first day. Things look pretty, uh, pretty under control, pretty, pretty civilized, which is excellent. We don't need anybody out here getting into trouble. The, uh, but that church, they, they put a mask around the whole thing. So there you go. This is freedom of religion in Canada. Jason Kenny, you claim to be a Catholic. How can this be acceptable to you? And instead, you know, you've shut this church down that would have had services once a week. And now you get this out here basically all hours of the daylight, you know? These, this is probably a group of 50 here right now. And they're out here in close quarters. Is this what you wanted, Jason Kenny? Is this really stopping the spread of a virus? Or is this even about a virus anymore? You know, you've created an all-day social gathering by closing this church. An all-day gathering. So... But this is monitored by police and private security 24 hours a day. They have their own toilet facilities brought in. We saw the porta potties come in uh, when they first shut this down. Uh, but this place is under guard 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. You know, when I was in school, this. We were taught this was a free country. This doesn't look much like a free country anymore. You know, and, and in reality, when you look at the resources they put into enforcing this here, they can't do that at every church. They could probably only do this at about five churches. Can you imagine if tomorrow 10 churches opened up or 10 gyms or 25 restaurants? We've got 20 on the list. Oh, awesome. Awesome. 
The um, Coalition of Canada. Cool. Website. So there's 80 in Canada that we know. You might, sorry, do you mind if you're on camera? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you, if you go on the website at www.openalbertachurches.com, there's 20 churches that are listed publicly open fully. Right. No mass. Um, Liberty Coalition in Canada.com has. The microphone works better on this side. www.libertycoalitionofcanada.com has the 80 churches that are fully open across Canada. Right. With the pastors in Ontario, especially, that are taking a stand. Cool. So you can go on the website and see who's open and what's going on, and there's more being added to the list every day, thankfully. Awesome. Yeah. That's what we need. Appreciate all the work you're doing. Everybody's got to open. Yeah. I mean, it, it wouldn't take much, people. I know AHS is scaring everybody. Um, but if, I mean, if just a few places in every community open, I mean, they just can't. I mean, they are, they are bringing in RCMP from all over the province to staff this church, to guard it. Defense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, but I'm hearing they're, they're bringing in officers from Cold Lake and Innisfail. We pay them double time, too. Where, yeah, they're all on overtime. Double so, I mean, like, if, if just a few places did this, I can't see them being able to, uh, to keep tabs on this for much longer. That's what, I, that's what I've heard, yeah. This, this road's going to be closed. If you want to come here and express your, uh, your concerns... You're going to have to park probably a mile away. I think the convoys from Alberta will be parked just far away. In the right? Yeah. You'll have to organize a, like uh, someone to drive people to a parking area and back. Um, but I don't think the police are going to play friendly with, uh, with parking around here, I have a suspicion. So this is what you get for going to church in Canada. What a shame. But... Yeah, I just drove past Costco. On the way to this, Costco's parking lot is packed. It's completely packed. And you know what? You would think there would be a lineup at the door. But no, there is no lineup on the door. So if they're at 15% capacity, someone please explain to me uh, how Costco isn't being shut down. And you know what? They're not even wiping the debit terminals in between every customer. Um, you know, this church, I, I attended this church a few times, and they have hand sanitizer at the door. Um, the people who are greeting at the door are wearing masks. They, uh, you know, uh, they just weren't going to tell people to, no, you can't come in today because the church is full, according to Jason Kenney. No, if people showed up here, they were welcomed in. And that's what got these people shut down. And that is a crying shame, an absolute crying shame. And, uh, yeah, the RCMP, they just do laps around here, uh, getting everybody's license plates, checking everybody's registration so if you come down make sure your papers up are up to date because you'll get it if they're not they uh anyway just wanted to give you a quick update y'all have a wonderful evening we'll see you again soon